Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. You know, one of the things that I do, often when I have leftover egg white, and if I know my granddaughter is coming, eat meringue. I can do them, put them in a plastic box in the, the pantry, and they can stay there for weeks, you know. I have four egg white here, and four egg white, it's standard. As you see, when I don't have that much here for, the whisk barely touch it. So what I do, I open this, and let it fall. That gives me that much more, so I know it touch the bottom of the pan. And that is gonna be for a few minutes until it gets nice and really foamy and holding, and then I put the sugar. Now you can see, I try to stop it to show you how it holds a nice shape. So now I'll put the sugar in it. And I put the sugar relatively fast. One cup of sugar. Okay, that's it. My mother never used a pastry bag. <laughs> uh, but I'll show you how to use the pastry bag, especially now we have them in, the, in plastic like this, so to come back. Usually, you turn this upside down so that you clean up the side of your bowl. I have one here, the standard one, which is just straight. Theoretically, what you do too, you push that in like this so that you know it's not going to come out. And if you have something high like this or a bowl, you put that in, that helps you to put your, your uh, mixture in there. So here, I have my meringue. I mean, theoretically, what you do, you hold it underneath here. Like that, you can clean up. Okay, your meringue, I'll show you some of it with that. See here, you clean up, you bring that back here. So the thing is nice and clean at the end. You fold that like an accordion, like this, and you bring it here, and then you press with that part of the hand, never opening this. Now you can extend this. You know, bring it, and as you bring it, you turn it. So here, I have it this way. I can do that type of thing. You know, like I drop this, or a regular meringue this way. You can use a, uh, a fluted one. That at that point, I will put this way. And as you can see here, I have, I have four egg white and quite a lot of meringue with those. Okay, now of course, my mother, as I said, never used a pastry bag and it's perfectly fine to use them just like this. Use a big And in fact, it has a different look. Here, another one here. Actually, I even have some leftover, so I'll put it on top of this. So that goes into the oven. Very often people cook it at a very low temperature, so some people say the meringue should stay very white. I don't agree with that. I cook it at 225, which is a bit higher, and my meringue will be slightly beige in color, but at very nutty taste. So here it goes, for about close to three hours. And that's it, my meringue are cooked. Very, very light, you know, you can see that. And slightly beige, I like them that color. Very crunchy. Mmm. It's the best meringue this way. You can present them this way, serve them with a bit of whipped cream. You can even sometimes we put some jam in there. 
with a little bit of jam. Or chocolate, very often chocolate. We glue two meringue together like this that you serve maybe with a little bit of whipped cream or whatever. That's a classic dessert. Otherwise, I put them in one of those containers here, and this is it. They have to be tightly covered, and uh, they'll stay there for weeks, months, you know, so without any problem if they are tightly covered like this. And this is how you make meringue, a great dessert for very little money. Hope you enjoy it. Happy cooking.